This week I have a fully packed week. We're going to go through communities throughout Southwest Florida from Naples, Bonita Springs to Fort Myers. Uh, I thought I'd take you along with me. I figured this might be the best way for you to see kind of what's out there in Southwest Florida. It might be a little all over the place, but I think it'd be just a fun time to bring you along and kind of show you what's going on in Southwest Florida. It's summer, but we're still pretty busy. Things aren't flying off the shelf like they used to be the last couple of years, but there's still quite a lot of action. If things are priced right, they're moving pretty quickly. I find a lot of buyers are sitting on the sidelines, which I totally support. Just kind of seeing what the market's doing regarding interest rates and activity. So now's the time to do your research, kind of get involved and kind of find out which communities are right for you, which cities are right for, for you, because all of the cities down here are absolutely immaculate and they all have like super great communities as well. I'm looking at the lovely Gulf of Mexico right now. You can kind of see it out there. We're so fortunate our office has these views. Some really cool residences coming up um, that will block our view, but that's okay. Um, if you are looking for some luxury high rises and low rises with optional boat slips and docks, I believe they're starting in the four to eight millions. I know that's a big range, isn't it? <laughs> but I think it's estimated completion is around 2026, but a lot of cool things coming. Hey, just an update. Been working away in the office, primarily sending some community information, membership information for a customer that is looking at five specific golf communities to kind of compare them and see what they offer. I've uh, been updating a feature sheet for one of our new listings. We provide this for every one of our listings where um, there's any little intricate details. We have that for the buyer to take with them. There's a lot of things in listings that prospective buyers might not know about unless they're told. And there's nothing worse than an agent standing there and spewing random features of the home, especially if they're not super, super interested. So just providing the, the feature sheet that they, they can look back on after they've toured the unit, especially if somebody was touring, say 10 different properties, the feature sheet will help them kind of remember what, what was specific with our specific listing that stands out and little things that you just might not catch. Confirming some payments that have been submitted for our escrow deposits for some of our other buyers that we're working with. Uh, just a lot of cool stuff going on. I have people that I, I keep in contact with too that are just curious about the stats in a certain community. Uh, send those monthly updates. It's the beginning of the month now, so following up with those sort of people that just need that valuable information that aren't necessarily looking to buy, but like to track the data um, in the community that they're living in or looking to buy in maybe five years down the road. A lot of good info and data out there, so just shoot me an email too if you are curious about certain communities and if I can provide any information, data, would be happy to do that. I am on my way to Bonita Bay. We have a couple showings on two of our listings and two of the high rises in there. Uh, sea Glass built in 2018 with some really gorgeous spacious units in there. The one that we're gonna to be touring is over 3,000 square feet under air uh, with views of the Estero Bay in Gulf of Mexico. And then followed by that, we have another listing in Bayview at Bonita Bay built in, the building was built in 1994, really gorgeous. Um, there's more outdoor terraces on this unit where you can kind of actually be right outside, no screen protecting the view of the Gulf of Mexico and Estero Bay. And that one will be on the 10th floor. So hopefully those showings go well. Um, I'll try to get some footage for you so you can kind of get an idea of Bonita Bay. Love that community as well. That's in Bonita Springs. So that's where I'm headed now. Uh, wish me luck.
Madison Bayview went really well. Now we have an oncoming storm, our summer storms, which were super normal around here. Now I'm quite tired. Need some food to refuel and drop off some marketing materials at another unit and I will be on my way. Good morning. It's another beautiful day in Southwest Florida. Uh, I am, I have a full day ahead of my, ahead of me. Uh, we're gonna be going to four different communities today. One in Fort Myers, uh, the Plantation Country Club, Worthington Golf and Country Club, a bundle golf community. We'll be going to Vanderbilt Country Club in Naples, arguably a luxury bundle golf community, and then finishing up in Hyde Park at Pelican Bay in Naples. So I'm gonna try to film as much as I can and kind of give you guys an idea of some of these communities and talk about them as I go, and I will check in with you soon. Not too often you see this. We have two listings exactly side by side right now. These are villas in Worthington Country Club. So uh, the one on the right is about 1,600 square feet. Needs a lot of um, fixing upping. So if you're up for a project, that's a great option. The one to the left is about 1,800 square feet with a hot tub out back. They both have similar views, but the this one is fully remodeled. Inside, it is just gorgeous. Um, I'll show some footage here, but a couple of side-by-side -side listings with two very different prices based on what's on the inside. The views are spectacular, western exposure, so pretty neat. In Worthington, there's almost 800 doors and you can get anything from a condo, carriage house, uh, detached villa like these ones, or single family homes. Great little neighborhood. Your golf is bundled with the HOA fees, so you're probably looking at spending around 13 to 15,000 a year but you get the opportunity to golf. So pretty neat and awesome. Just pulled up to Somerset at the Plantation in Fort Myers, gorgeous golf community where you can choose to purchase the golf or not. But the coolest thing about Somerset at the Plantation is they just got this brand new renovated amenity center, which has a cool, very cool pool, tennis and pickleball courts. I have a customer who's moving into a, a lovely condo in here, a 2018 build. They're not all 2018, they, they range maybe from 2007 through 2018, but the, some of these homes are just absolutely stunning. You, you can do condo carriage style homes as well as some gorgeous single family homes, but I just wanted to show you a little bit about the amenity center, it's super neat. Good morning! I've been working away this morning and yesterday. I didn't film as much as I wanted to yesterday. It was kind of a crazy community bouncing around, making sure the showings go smoothly. However, I'm going back to Pelican Bay and Bonita Bay this afternoon for some more showings. And then Saturday, very exciting. We have a second showing confirmed, which is always good news for our listings. Often a second showing is preceded by an offer. Not always, of course, but it is uh, good news. So hopefully we can close something on Saturday. Um, but in the meantime, I'm gonna take you along today. Everything st seems to be going smoothly this week so far. It's very grateful to be in the position I'm in and to actually be moving around and having the amount of business that we have, especially during the summer. It's been a great day and it's Friday. Went to the gym this morning, had a nice breakfast and I'm all ready to go. Um, if you're wondering how realtors stay in shape, it's by walking around their properties to turn on lights for their showings and all need to be turned off at the end of the showing. <laughs> Another day, I'm on my way to another showing. I didn't film while I was actually at a couple locations yesterday. I went back to Hyde Park in Pelican Bay, which is a really unique sort of building type complex. And it's in a very optimal location located across from the commons at Pelican Bay. It's funny, th these buildings are they're a little bit older, built in 1980s and a lot of people just drive by it because the curb appeal isn't that great, but they're actually the most insanely cool units on the inside. We actually have two listings in this building. One on the first floor, which is technically the second floor, the first floor is garage, but floor one. We have a nice end unit with three bedrooms. It has a lot of square footage, gorgeous views all around, like total panoramic lake and golf course views in Pelican Bay.
The other one is on the fourth floor, up a little higher. You can actually see the Gulf of Mexico from your entryway. And then it is totally updated, immaculately done. Not too often you see such great workmanship when it comes to remodels. Sometimes people do like a quick, easy job, but this one, however, it is not. So if you are looking for a two bedroom condo in Naples, Pelican Bay, this is just to die for. One that you do not need to update or touch at all but they are both just fantastic. As I had mentioned, they're in the most desirable spot in Pelican Bay because you can walk directly over to the commons area where there's the tennis and all of that stuff going on, plus the trams which take you down to your private restaurant and beach that you get when you live in Pelican Bay. And uh, I mean, Hyde Park itself, they have like a pool, pickleball court as well, clubhouse, but just a, such a neat place. And so I was able to show those properties for two days in a row. Fingers crossed that it all goes through, but they are just, it's such a hidden gem in Pelican Bay and not many people know about it because they simply drive by it because they don't look that beautiful and it's not one of the new gorgeous high rises, but you still can get Gulf of Mexico views. You can get the best views and just you're in the middle of Pelican Bay. It's just fantastic. So um, that's cool. Heading back to Sea Glass at Bonita Bay for a second showing, which is always exciting. It's been on the market a little while. A lot of times when people are looking to buy high rises, they want big fat views of Gulf of Mexico. This one is on the sixth floor, which is still optimal. You can still see the Gulf of Mexico. If you want to spend like a million dollars more, you'll probably have to get up a little higher, but you'll be able to see the Gulf of Mexico. But that's kind of our prediction as to why it's been sitting so long. It's priced right, all that stuff. So it's now the weekend. I am going to play the golf tournament on the East Coast with my former golf coach. Just a fun event. It's a pro scratch event and uh, the best ball tournament. Super excited. I miss competing. So this will be kind of like a nice little intro back. If you don't know, I played golf at the, the Division One level at Florida Gulf Coast is actually where I went to university. Golf was my life for many, many of my years. I also assistant coached at Florida Gulf Coast, the golf team there for a couple of years where I got my master's degree. So, and I just don't get to golf nearly as much as I'd like to, especially even with all the golf courses around here, but I'm excited to play in that event this weekend. And so that's kind of what's on the radar ahead. Well, I really appreciate you watching this video. It's kind of been all scattered all over the place and hopefully gave you an idea as to what all is out there in all of these different communities. There's a lot of pretty neat spots all over. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you need some help narrowing down where you should be looking based on your price range or what amenities you're looking for, or do you want to be close to the beach? Are you beach not priority? Is golf a priority? I can help you narrow it down anytime. So shoot me an email if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.